Engineering your beehives for success. Hacking beekeeping's best practices. Imagine standing amidst a bustling hive, surrounded by thousands of hardworking bees, each one playing a vital role in the hive's intricate dance, from their mesmerizing communication to the magical alchemy of turning nectar into liquid gold. Beekeeping is something that makes you admire Mother Nature the most. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to become a beekeeping maestro, harvesting the liquid gold of the gods, and becoming one with nature's sweetest symphony? Well today, I'll be talking about everything you need to know about beekeeping. So if you're ready, let's get started. You see, the charm of beekeeping lies in its relentless pursuit of learning. The internet, with its boundless supply of information, serves as a springboard for your knowledge. Yet the true senseis in this dance of learning are none other than your tiny buzzing allies, the bees. Every beehive you install, from your pioneer one to your milestone hundredth, is a labyrinth waiting to be unraveled. And oh, do these little critters relish in tossing you surprises like that eccentric colony that defies all norms and decides to build a comb under the hive. Or the bee world's equivalent of doomsday, a calamity that could decimate your treasured hive. Yet every crisis is a learning curve, an opportunity to grow. Beekeeping is deeply intertwined with local nuances. Within the confines of your own backyard, you'll witness a universe of diversity. Now, Let's discuss everything you need to know about the beekeeping clubs and mentors. If you're puzzling over what a beekeeping club is, then just imagine it as a human hive of apiarists, a buzzing congregation of honey enthusiasts just like you. These clubs are scattered across the nation, filled to the brim with knowledge and hands-on experience. So why become a member? Because localized wisdom is a treasure trove. While the ABCs of beekeeping are indeed important, the real wisdom lies in the nitty-gritty of local particulars. Deciphering your region's weather patterns, identifying reliable local bee suppliers, and addressing regional pests, among others. That's not all. Many clubs also offer tool sharing, equipment rentals, and let's not forget the merry social events. Because where's the fun in all work and no play? Now, the question is, where can I find these clubs? Well, don your Internet Explorer hat and start by seeking out a statewide beekeeping club. A few clicks and scrolls later, and presto, you've got a list of local beekeeping associations at your disposal. But let's also shine the spotlight on the other protagonist, the beekeeping mentors. Imagine them as your personal apiary oracle guiding you through the intricate maze of beekeeping. Their hands-on approach offers you a personal walkthrough of your hive, complete with customized advice. Choosing the right mentor is an important task, especially when it comes to selecting your favorite type of honey. Some mentors excel at maintaining a small number of quaint, picturesque hives, while others are adept at operating a sprawling apiary. Just like choosing your honey, Selecting a mentor boils down to personal preference. So, where do you scout for these wisdom-dripping mentors? Right at the beekeeping clubs. Or, you might just stumble upon one in your neighborhood. A casual conversation with a beekeeping neighbor can often evolve into a mentoring relationship, giving you a one-on-one -on -one guide through your beekeeping journey. After all, as in life, so in beekeeping. Every teacher you meet and every experience you have is a golden opportunity for growth. Whether it's learning about the eccentricities of your backyard colonies or mastering the art of hive maintenance with your mentor, every moment is a lesson in the extraordinary world of bees. And if you ask me, there's nothing more rewarding than working shoulder to shoulder with a mentor who knows the ins and outs of your hives. It's like having your very own bee whisperer. So, how do we actually get the bees for our hives? Well, let's get into the details of packages and nucleus colonies. Let's start with the first option, the package. 
Imagine a box filled with approximately 10,000 buzzing bees. But here's the twist. The queen, often unrelated to the worker bees, is confined in her own cage. On the flip side, we have another route, the nucleus colony, also known as a nuke. Picture it as a miniaturized version of a fully functioning colony. This pre-made unit includes a thriving queen and five frames of comb. While a nuke may come with a slightly higher price tag, around $50 to $75 more than a package, it offers a head start of about six weeks. Many experienced beekeepers recommend starting with a nuke. Now, let's talk numbers. When it comes to the overall cost of beekeeping, experts suggest budgeting between $800 to $1,000 for your first year setup, including equipment and the bees themselves. This investment covers the essential protective gear, which can last several years, and the durable hive woodenware that can withstand a decade or two with proper care. The bees, however, are the only recurring expense. But beekeeping isn't just about the financial investment. It requires a commitment of time. Similar to any hobby, the more effort you put in, the greater the reward. On average, Experts recommend dedicating approximately one hour per week for every two hives. Keep in mind that different seasons demand varying levels of involvement. Spring, as the bees emerge from winter and start their growth, may require more attention, while summer provides a bit of respite. Fall brings its own set of tasks before the bees settle down for the winter. Now, let's find the perfect spot for your buzzing companions. Experts believe that it's best to position the hive entrance facing either the south, east, or southeast direction. This orientation ensures that the bees enjoy the warm morning sun, which gets them buzzing with energy while providing shade during the hotter afternoon hours. Avoid placing hives in high traffic areas such as sidewalks or near swing sets. And of course, Consider your own convenience when selecting a location that's easily accessible for maintenance and observation. But when should you start this beekeeping adventure? Timing depends on climate and geography. It is recommended to take a beekeeping class in the fall or winter, around November or December, to gather essential knowledge. Following that, you can order your bees and equipment when spring arrives, typically in April, it's time to install your hive and embark on a journey of nurturing your colony. In the initial months, you'll play a role of a diligent chef, preparing a delectable mixture of sugar and water to feed your bees. This nourishing syrup helps them build and draw out wax comb, facilitating egg laying and overall productivity. As your colony flourishes and expands, you'll witness the magical transformation of nectar into honey. By fall, you might even enjoy the sweet reward of harvesting your very own honey. However, when November arrives, it's time to prepare your bees for winter. Experts also emphasize the importance of putting them to bed, ensuring they are protected from the harsh elements. This includes securing the hive, providing proper ventilation to prevent moisture buildup, and checking their honey stores to ensure they have enough food to last through the colder months. Now, let's face a sobering truth. Beekeeping comes with challenges. Don't be disheartened if your bees face setbacks, as even experienced beekeepers encounter losses. The failure rates, especially in the first few years, can be high. However, perseverance and continuous learning are key. Embrace the process, learn from your experiences, and never shy away from seeking advice and joining beekeeping clubs. So guys, success in beekeeping extends beyond the mere survival of your bees or the quantity of honey they produce. It's the lessons you glean from these incredible creatures that truly define you as a successful beekeeper. So keep exploring, keep growing, and let the world of bees be your guide on this enchanting journey. See you in our upcoming videos. Until then, adios.